Welcome everybody. This is the next video for Team Developer 6.2 and I'm going to show you the new Team Developer 6.2 progress bar, which is going to replace the C-meter progress bar that was there previously in Visual Tool Chest. Now the new one is really looking very nice and let me show you how that one works. I have a little sample application that demonstrates the use of the new progress bar. Let me run this application to first show you how it looks in action. Let me debug go and then you see the progress bar has a minimum of zero, a meter value of zero and now I have increment and decrement buttons and I can increment that and you see the meter value changing here. You can change the step size, change that to 15 for example and then increment and you see it increased by 15 now. You can set the entire range of the meter and you can set the meter um, horizontal or vertical. Um, it looks nicer here of course horizontal otherwise I would need to redesign the screen a bit and then you can also um, set the start and end color of the um, meter here and let me do so if I press the start color button here I can choose a start color from here and then an end color move to from purple to green or something and with that color range I'm setting that and now you see the start color is purple and it's going to green and if I increment you see that bar growing. So set color range and get color range um, horizontal vertical increment decrements a number of API calls that allow you to totally control the new progress bar of Team Developer 6.2. So let's have a look at the source code of this little application here. Let me close the running application, switch to the outline window here. And you see that I have contents here like a progress bar, P bar one. Um, I have a push button to increment that progress bar. And you see there is a new API calls called Zalmeter. And Zalmeter sets step size, sets the step size from the one in the data field. So that is preset in my application to 10 when I launch the application. And with meter, sound meter step up, it's um, actually moving one step up. So initially I should really show you how it's being initialized and set to, to the range it is displaying. So there's a sal meter set range call initially that sets it from the minimum to the maximum. And initially I do also set the step size um, just to prepare for everything. I also set a um, start color and no, I also retrieve the start, the start call, color, get from color and the get to color. So those two values are being displaced, displayed in two data fields of the app. That's, being, that's happening at <clears throat> application startup. When I actually press um, next PB increment, sal meter step up is being executed executed and the step size is coming from the data field step. Pretty much the same for a decrement value. Message actions here. Sound meter step down. Um, in this case I didn't retrieve the um, step size actually so it's actually doing the, la the, the step size will be the last defined one. And then after that I'm setting the value field, the current value of the meter um, to the value of the um, uh, progress bar. Other buttons start so PB start is basically a, um, the, the choose button for the color and that opens the color chooser dialog which then um, in, enters the color the user has chosen into the data field DF start color. The push button PB end is pretty much the same and retrieves the AND color using Zal dialect choose from color and puts the color into data field AND color. And the push button PB set color then takes the colors defined in, that are now being placed in the data fields and assigns them to the uh, progress bar. Zal meter set from color and you see I'm passing in the DF start color, the value from the data field. Also, Salmeter set to color, 
the end color from the data field. So that's what I demonstrated before, how you change the start and end color of the progress bar. So another push button here. And this push button actually retrieves the defined colors and displays the retrieved colors into the data fields df start color and df end color. So you have a complete range of um, API calls that allow you to totally control how the progress bar um, behaves, including colors, orientation, and things like that. Let's just run this again so you have an idea of how that looks. See, increment, you can change the step size, you can change start and end color, you can retrieve the color range, you can display, change the orientation, horizontal and vertical. So that's basically the new Team Developer 6.2 progress bar. So the new progress bar is a quite exciting new control in Team Developer 6.2. Thanks for watching this video and talk to you and see you soon. Thanks.